Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get this effect. Now, I overdid it with the rotation, but I will show you the better way to do it. So you bring in your model into Cinema 40, and you find the bit that you want to rotate, in this case the neck and then you move to the frame that you wish to have the rotation at and you can do it two ways one way is doing the auto keyframing which means wherever, you, whenever you make a change it'll keyframe it there or just the normal keyframe where it will um, record that location scale and whatever you've done I like to use automatic keyframing because it is easier, but it is your choice. So click there and do your rotation. I'm going to do about 37. And then you move forward. And then this is already there. Hold on. All right. So then you move forward to where you want your next keyframe to be, and you move and you rotate it or whatever you're doing in your project to where you want it to be next, and just rotate it back forward. In my case, and then move forward another ten. How it doesn't matter how many frames you move forward, it just depends on the look you're going for, and you do the transformation again. Uh, there we go. And then move forward another 10 frames. And then bring it back to the somewhere around the original position. And when you play this back, you get a very rigid looking movement. Alright. I'm now if you want to have it look a bit more realistic, you can have it so as he moves forward, his head moves up and down, that there, there. There. Side to side. Put it back. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can just play around with that. I will link you the download for this model in the description. And that is all. Have a good day.